Gallery myself as an artist. Um, I believe my genre is dark pop. So it's a mix between pop and ballad. So uh, yeah, I believe that's my kind of genre style. Um, I believe artists such as Sam Smith, Sia, uh, Celine Dion, they inspire me as an artist. And I believe my vocals um, sort of range between those kind of styles. Of course, my family inspires me um, to do my best, and my grandmother is actually my inspiration. She was a singer in her own time, and uh, I think I got my voice from her, actually. Yeah. to inspire young people um, to never give up on their dreams um, and to tell them that age doesn't matter. Um, I believe it's um, your passion for your music and I believe that if you have a passion for something you should pursue it no matter how old you are. Growing up in Australia was actually quite fun. Um, I'm speaking English and I have a Filipino background so I have lots of Filipino friends there and uh, yeah I was singing in competitions there and growing as an artist there and as a person as well so uh, yeah it was quite fun um, and uh, yeah that's how I, I started lessons, singing lessons over there and uh, they, I've had really good teachers who taught me lots of great techniques um, and yes, I grew up in Sydney, Australia and uh, there's lots of nice places there, beaches and a lot of Thai restaurants as well. <laughs> I'm a beach girl, um, I love to swim, I swim every day and um, yeah, I think it's a great place to surf. Um, but. Um, yeah, I think it's a great place for hanging out and chilling and uh, yeah, it's a great multicultural country. Um, well, kicking back, my hobbies are tennis. I love to play tennis. I grew up playing tennis with my father, my brother. They're all great tennis players and we watch um, the US Open and the Australian Open as well. So um, yeah, I think that's one of them. And uh, also I love swimming. I love to play the piano and guitar as well. And sometimes songwrite, you know, in the back. And I love music, that's my passion. I do vlogging. I vlog about beauty, my hobbies, swimming. Um, I travel a lot, um, we're going to Japan soon and uh, I've been to America, I vlog about all these places, um, traveling and uh, yeah I love going on the plane and just you know, seeing the skies. <laughs> so when I was young I used to sing with my grandmother, she, she taught me how to sing at a young age, at like three years of age. And so um, from then she's like, oh, I think you have a talent for singing, you should take this seriously. So that's when she inspired me to um, take singing lessons and join competitions to gain exposure and experience. And so from then on, I took my first competition ever and I won it. So um, that was like a sign that I should continue my singing. Um, I won my first competition at nine years of age <laughs> um, and that that was a great special memory for me. Um, I decided that I'd like to pursue a singing career because it's ultimately my passion and um, I believe that it's important to pursue your passion. Um, rather than just do a day-to-day -day job um, and yeah singing is my passion I love to sing I practice every day um, so I improve to improve and uh, yeah I love to perform in front of the large crowds um, it's my passion and yeah I just love making music as well and singing.
But when I won the X Factor at 15 years of age, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to continue singing. You know, it's my dreams, my passion, everything's going well. Um, thank you, Lord. Um, so I decided to continue. And now I'm here in the Philippines um, because I want to pursue it, continue pursuing it. And it changed my life because I had to do homeschooling and at the same time do my singing career. So uh, yeah, it made me learn so many things such as never giving up. Um, you know, nothing is impossible, especially if you want to achieve your dream, because it's possible no matter how young or old you are. Um, I think that you should pursue your dream um, if you believe you can do it and always believe in yourself. Um, being homeschooled actually makes you improve your grades more, in my perspective. Um, because you have more time to focus and you're not distracted by anyone. I mean, because um, if you're next to your friend, you're always busy talking to them. But when you're homeschooled, you actually focus and for me, my grades improve. You know, I once got first in English out of 80 people, so I think it helps a lot actually. Um, but sometimes it can be a bit lonely. Um, because you aren't surrounded by teachers, you aren't surrounded by um, your friends and uh, you have to really study on your own um, and when you need help you have to Skype or do video uh, calls and I think that's a bit hard but um, I, and I think face to face is more effective um, but yeah those are the pros and cons of homeschool.